here's a question. How many times have you made the same New Year's resolution over and over again? Mm -hmm. it happens to so many of us. Mm -hmm. And is there a better way to start out the new year with a higher likelihood of success? Life coach Marlene Boaz is here and you say the key may be really downsizing those resolutions. Yeah, when you make a resolution, you're thinking a year out with this grandiose right. resolution. It's a lot. And I mean, the research shows that you know, 60, 70, 80% don't hold on much past February. Oh, right. wow. So you're saying pretty much that less is more. So there are small steps that you can take to achieve your goal. That's right. And that's what's important because whenever we make a, a change in our behavior, our habits, it is small incremental steps. Right. And so if we don't push out a year and maybe just push out a month, probably have more success. Mm -hmm. One of the things that you always teach us too is to kind of really evaluate, write down some of the things that you do want to change, whether they're small or big, things that you might want to add to. That's right. And if you can think of 12 things that you want to change, you know, and they don't have to be related necessarily, and you pick one a month to focus on. And when you think about, okay, so if I want to be healthier, and one of the things is drinking more water, I'm going to drink just one glass extra of water every day for the month. And then what will happen is you'll notice over that month that you feel better. It may work, it may not. Mm, right. So it's much more manageable than having the big goals that are out of reach. Now, do you recommend, I know I like using vision boards a lot, mm -hmm. but do you recommend like writing things down Absolutely. or just so you can see them in front of you? Yes, write it down. And also you wanna sort of keep track. So maybe at the end of the week, it's, mm, I'm gonna give myself an A, I'm gonna give myself a B. Mm -hmm. Don't beat yourself up, but what can you do better? It's all about small little steps to get you where you want to go. And I don't know if this, I, I remember hearing this a, a long time ago, but is it the, the seven day rule? Like after seven days, things start to become a little bit more of a routine? Mm -hmm. Like well, if, you, if you use a certain amount of time? Right, and I think it might be a little bit more than seven. Yeah. So maybe, you know, if you do something for 30 days and you're feeling better, the likelihood that you'll repeat it increases. Right, right. You know, days, yeah. and that's why they have to be small goals, just very simple. So you focused on a little bit of like the healthier living, but let's talk about many resolutions for um, stress. And yes, Mikey and I, I were know, we just talking all about this. Experience yeah, that. right. And you know, when we do these things, whether it's stress or getting healthier, we all know what to do, right? Mm -hmm. We can list it, but just pick one simple thing. So okay. it's, I'm gonna spend five minutes when I get up just taking deep breaths. Oh, I mm. try to do that. Just even going uh -huh. to sleep, just to calm down from the day and just, Focus on sleep and let it all go. And it, it's helpful. It is yeah. helpful. Mm -hmm. So you do that for a month and you go, yeah, I do feel better. You might add on to that or you might try something else. Mm -hmm. So know? like if you do that in January, you say in February, do something creative. So add mm -hmm. something into your day that's going to break it up a little bit. And then March, set boundaries. Set boundaries. Like, you know, I would really have less stress if I didn't say yes to any time anybody oh, asked me to do one. something. Yeah. Oh, so, okay, March is my month of drawing some boundaries. And I'm going to just... Learn how to graciously not say yes. Yeah, and you say focus on the behaviors, not necessarily the outcome. Right, because if you're, if you're too far out looking at the end result, you miss the work and the action steps to get there. Right. So if you think about your behaviors and what you can do in that moment, you'll eventually get there. Yeah, because if you're doing the, all of the actions, eventually you're going to make right. it. You're yeah. going to get there, yeah. right. Marlene, thank you so much, and Happy New Year to you. Thanks, same to you. <laughs>